Hey everybody, this is Deb with Concept Crochet and today we're going to talk about steel hooks. This is something that when I wanted to do some doilies I tried finding online and I really couldn't find anything about them. But in order to do the fine work that you have with doilies and using crochet thread, which see my other video on that if you don't know about crochet thread, you're going to need to have very small hooks. And I kept looking and I couldn't find them and couldn't find them. And finally, I realized that uh, not everybody uses steel hooks. And the reason is because they're very tiny and they're used for de very delicate work. So if that's not what you do, you may not know it. This right here is an H hook. Okay, and an H hook is five millimeters. So this is what most people are used to using, maybe an I or a J to use with regular yarn. But when you're working with thread, crochet thread, and it's very small, then you have to adjust. And like, for instance, using this, there's no way, well, you can, you could actually use this with it, but you're going to get a very loose and um, difficult type of look if you do that. So you can use crochet thread with bigger hooks. It just doesn't work near as well. And you don't get the more fine details that you want with these kinds of hooks. Okay, the first thing you need to know is when you're doing the regular hooks, they usually have letters in the United States. They have H, I, J, those kinds of letters, right? We're used to hearing those. Well, this is a C right here. This is, I'm going to try to do this so you can see them. I don't know how well that's going to work. But there you go. You've got that. Oh, I'm sorry. This one is a D, which is a 3.25 millimeter. And then this one is a C. And that's usually as small as people are used to seeing in their stores. And this is what, 2.75 millimeters? Kind of hard to see. But there you go. Then we start getting into the small ones, and they go by number, uh, and the numbers, the smaller the number, the bigger the hook. So this one is a zero zero, and it's a 3.5 millimeter, okay? Now, I know this is kind of weird because this one, as a C, is, um, you know, what, 2.75? millimeters yeah 2.75 millimeters I'm having trouble even reading it so um, this right here is bigger than that one so the double O is bigger than this one now I also want to point something out to you that I'm gonna do another video on but you can see here if you look very closely at the heads they're very different and the reason is because this one is a Susan Bates and this one is a boy and a lot of people don't understand the difference between them, but it has to do with how pointed they are here. The Susan Bates is a little more pointy than this one, the boy. And look at the depth that you get. So the depth of the Susan Bates is much deeper than the boy. That's just how it works. That's why, you know, people have preferences usually. I prefer the Susan Bates, but a lot of people prefer boys. And that's what I first... Got, I have a mixture here because I had somebody give me some, and so it's like a mixture of everything. But when we're going on, and you look at the, the size of them, this one, for instance, is um, a zero, and it's 2.55 millimeter. So um, you start going along, and they get smaller and smaller. Let me go, this is the smallest one that I have right now, and it is a size 10. Um, which is a 1.15 millimeter. So that's the smallest one. This is what I normally use when I'm doing a lot of my afghans these days. Big difference, huh? <laughs> yeah, definitely. When do you use them? Well, it all depends. And it's so very fine that it can be tough. It can be tough to use those small ones. You have to have a lot of tension on your, your thread this thread right here is recommended for about, let me look. This thread right here is recommended for a seven, which would be somewhere in this range. Um, let me look to see. This is a boy. It's a, oops, that's a four. Nope. 
nope, further down, uh, maybe here. This is a seven, yeah, this is a seven right here. So that's a Susan Bates seven, and it is, <laughs> I can't, can't read it because it's so small, 1.5 millimeters on that, okay? So very, very small. Now, just because it says the recommended hook for this is a seven, you need to find out when you're doing doilies and the more delicate work with the thread, you're going to need to find out where you feel more comfortable. Because for me, I like to use um, sometimes fours, sometimes eights. It all depends on the thread. It depends on what I'm using. But I can go anywhere between four and eight, and I can uh, use that with this same thread. So it does depend on how you feel comfortable and how good your tension is because you have to have really tight tension. Any looseness when you're crocheting with thread is going to show and it's going to show big. So you have to really be tight. But when you're looking at them, for instance, this is, uh, let's see, uh, size 8, which I use often, a size 8. And then you have here, which is a size 3. You can see how much it changes just in that sizing. And the, the smaller the hook, the, the larger the number. So that's the way they work. All right? So that's steel hooks for you. And I want to give you a little tip just in case you've got a lot of hooks and you don't have any place to store them. My sister-in-law gave me this. And this is a container for crystal light type drink mix. And it works really great. I use it in my car. I've got one in my car for them. I, I keep hooks in my car and yarn. So in case I'm bored and I'm somewhere sitting in line or whatever. Um, you know, I can put, I've got some little scissors in there. I've got some uh, yarn needles. And you can just put everything in there. It's great. Now the bigger hooks, like if you're doing the... Um, M, N, O, P, those size, they're too, a little too long for this, so they don't really work very well. I mean, they barely fit. So other than that, it works great, and it's especially great when you've got a lot of little hooks, because I found that sometimes the hooks, I made a, a yarn thing to hold on to all my hooks, but sometimes they slip out, and especially these little ones. So I just ended up making you know using that and it's great they don't slip out they stay in there the lid stays on and I can carry them just about anywhere they don't get hooked on anything it's really good so anyway that's what I wanted to share with you on this because I think it's really important for those who are interested in doing fine work to understand that yes it's a whole different set of things they're called steel hooks and the numbers go backwards so the smaller the hook the bigger the number and they do go higher than this. This is just all the, the higher that I have. They're very, very tiny. And when they get very tiny like this, they're kind of sharp. So <laughs> anyway, that's what I've got for you on this one. I want to thank you for stopping by. And I'll see you all later.